Have you ever wondered how to unearth hidden information using OSINT? Welcome to the fascinating world of Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT for short. This powerful tool is about gathering and analyzing information that is publicly available. Think of it as a treasure hunt, where the treasure is hidden in plain sight, and all you need are the right tools and a keen eye to find it. OSINT is not just an obscure term, but a method used across a myriad of sectors. It's a fundamental pillar in cybersecurity, where it plays a critical role in identifying vulnerabilities, threats and potential breaches. Imagine being able to anticipate a cyber attack before it happens, or detect a data breach before it's too late. That's the power of OSINT, but that's not all. OSINT goes beyond cybersecurity. It's like a Swiss army knife of information gathering, used in everything from journalism to finance, marketing to law enforcement. Each sector uses it in its unique way, but the principles remain the same. Collect, analyze, and use publicly available information. Now, let's dive into how to use OSINT tools to gather hidden information. In the world of OSINT, tools are your best friends. They're like the magnifying glass in the hand of a detective, helping you sift through the vast amounts of data on the internet to find those hidden nuggets of information. Let's dive into some of these tools that can make your OSINT journey a whole lot easier. First off, we have Google Dorks. Now, don't let the name fool you. This isn't some silly internet trend, but rather a powerful tool for advanced search queries. By using specific syntax, Google Dorks enables you to narrow down your searches, pinpointing the exact information you're after. It's like having a map in the chaotic world of the internet. Next, we have governmental resources. These can be a goldmine for conducting OSINT searches. Government websites often contain a wealth of publicly available data, from census records to business licenses, court records and more. What might seem like mundane information can often open the door to deeper investigations. And of course, we can't forget about tools like Hunter and Email Permutator. These are especially useful for email verification. All you need is a person's name and the domain they're associated with and these tools can provide potential email addresses. It's like having a digital address book at your fingertips. Lastly, we have Have I Been Pedoand. This is a must-have tool for any digital investigator. It allows you to check if an email address has been compromised in a data breach. This can provide valuable insight into a person's digital footprint and potential vulnerabilities. So there you have it. From Google Dorks to Have I Been Pedoand, these tools are like the Swiss army knife for any OSINT investigator. Remember, the internet is vast, but with the right tools, you can uncover the hidden details that lie beneath the surface. With these tools, you're one step closer to becoming an OSINT expert. Finding usernames and emails is a crucial part of any OSINT investigation. Let's delve into how to accomplish this with finesse. To begin with, we can utilize the power of advanced search queries. Google Dorks, for instance, is a tool that can help you find specific information buried under the vast expanse of the internet. With Google Dorks, you can tailor your search to uncover usernames and emails linked to a particular individual or organization. It's a bit like having a search engine superpower. Next up, we've got governmental resources at our disposal. These databases, often overlooked, can be a treasure trove of information. They may contain records of business filings, professional licenses, court records, and more. By exploring these resources, you could stumble upon usernames and email addresses that would otherwise remain hidden. Now let's talk about Hunter. This tool is specifically designed for email verification. You enter a domain, and voila, it returns all the email addresses associated with that domain. It's a quick and straightforward way to uncover email addresses. Another useful tool in our arsenal is the Email Permutator. This tool generates a list of potential email addresses based on a person's name and domain. It's a great way to guess a target's email address when you've got their name, but not their exact email. Last, but certainly not least, we have Have I Been Pelluned. This tool lets you check if an email address has been compromised in a data breach. It can be a vital asset when investigating individuals or organizations with a compromised digital footprint. But remember, these tools are just the starting point. The real magic happens when you combine them and use them creatively. Don't be afraid to go off the beaten path. Try different combinations and think outside the box. It's this mix of persistence and creativity that often leads to breakthroughs. Remember, 
The key to a successful OSINT investigation is persistence and creativity. Let's take a step back and review what we've learned. We've delved deep into the world of open source intelligence, or OSINT, and explored how it's a powerful tool for gathering and analyzing publicly available information. This is applicable across various sectors, but it's particularly crucial in the realm of cybersecurity. Remember, the power of OSINT lies in its ability to collate information from disparate sources and make sense of it all. We then moved on to the tools that make OSINT possible. We discussed advanced search queries using Google Docs and how they can help you dig deeper into the Internet's vast expanse. We also highlighted resources like governmental databases that can be invaluable when conducting people searches. The key here is to know which tool to use when and how to use them effectively. Our journey led us to the process of finding usernames and emails. We explored tools like Hunter and Email Permutator, which are great for email verification. We also talked about Have I Been PW'd, a tool that checks whether an email has been compromised in a data breach. This is particularly significant as it allows you to know if a potential security threat exists. But remember, while these tools can help you find hidden information, they should be used responsibly. It's crucial to respect privacy and use this information for legitimate purposes, such as digital investigations. In essence, we've learned that OSINT isn't just about gathering information, it's about connecting the dots, finding patterns and uncovering hidden truths. It's about using the right tools, knowing the right techniques and understanding how to apply them. With these tools and techniques, you're now equipped to gather hidden information using OSINT. Happy investigating.